What is up guys, Awesome Nerd Show here, today we're doing another Marvel Legends set, this time is a very cool set I would say, and somewhat special too, so here as you can kind of see on this little tag thing here, we have the Hasbro SDCC 2018 uh, Marvel Legends exclusive I guess, or at least one of them, we have more coming though, you'll see in the next few weeks we have a bunch of like Hasbro Comic Con exclusives coming in videos and stuff, but this one, which you can kind of see over here, it says Red Skull and Electronic Tezzerex. So this, of course, is they're celebrating their 10-year anniversary of the Marvel MCU, so that's why I have Marvel Studios, you know, with the 10 there in the first 10 years and stuff. And so this is from Captain America, the first Avenger, and of course Marvel Legends, Hasbro, all that sort of stuff. And as you can see, we have the Hydra logo there on the back, so it's got the skull, you know, with all the octopus, the legs and stuff, even though there's only six of them there, you know, Octopus usually have eight, but anyways, um, so let's go ahead and pull this off. Um, we'll see if there's anything on the back of it. I really like that Captain America shield because, of course, Captain America is my favorite superhero of all. So there's a picture, of course, of the poster from the movie, of course, 2011. Then on the back, we got some stuff here on the Red Skull. Just to read this for Red Skull, says, A brilliant scientist obsessed with domination, Johann Schmidt leads Hydra, and whatever that word is, I assume it's German, division with specializing in artillery and harnessing the power of the Tezzerk to create a super, or to create super weapons. Bit on achieving the ultimate power, Schmidt injects himself with an early version of the super soldier serum and suffers the side effects including deformation and developing a crimson visage and of course there's the head there of I well mean, and this is number zero so they have a whole set i think it's up to like 11 or 12 or something which we're trying to get them all collected then do a video we'll probably do split them in half and stuff and do like the first five years and then the last five years and stuff but we don't have them all yet so we can't do that and then we have of course the marvel studios and zero and all that sort of stuff there so that's it for that packaging i want to kind of show this off because this packaging is cool so as you can see so this is supposed i believe supposed to be like the box that they store the tesseract in in the movies but there again we have the hydra logo so you can see like all the designs there on the sides and stuff um, again, it's hard to kind of see, or it'd be hard to see with my setup, but here we have a picture of the Tezar cube and all sorts of little gauges and everything what's on this side. Uh, this side's kind of like a radiation meter, it looks like. And let's see if there's anything on the back. Oh, just more Hydra logos there. But let's go ahead and open it. And then we just have it handle with extreme care there, and then nothing on the top of the side, just more of that blue design. So we'll go ahead and open this. I'll probably hit the camera. Oops, yep, there, just hit it. So there we go, here is a look at the inside. Let me readjust the camera here real quick. Okay, so here is the inside. So you can see we have the Red Skull figure here. And this looks, you know, kind of like the other Red Skull figures. This time he just has the long trench coat on and everything. And then there's a Tezzeret cube up in there, which we'll, of course, open and see and everything. The lighting may not be good on this. Then we have our light-up Tezzeret cube here. So, of course, we'll have to take this out and look at it and stuff. And the, I like you can't see but down here it says extreme caution and everything then we'll move it over here um so here's some stuff on the inside again i can't fit this all on the camera just this is the bad part about this setup so we have like you know posters of captain america profile on steve rogers over in here you know with all sorts of stuff then we have pictures of red skull and the hydra star spangled puppet and all that sort of stuff then on this side we have hydra like schematics and everything so we have the hydra tank the hydra soldiers and the tesseract cube here and stuff and then johan schmidt hydra like info there and then i can't really see it which is kind of cool that they have this let's see if i can bend this box down so you can see it because i kind of want to show this because this obviously belongs but here i don't think you can see up here is a map and i'm pretty sure that's the map of um norse mythology so as the giant tree and you know the tree has all of the um norse places like uh asgard and all that sort of stuff so that's kind of cool that they included that in there all the asgard stuff so let's go ahead though and get into this we'll start off i don't know how this box opens i'll probably have to do it off camera i thought you could just maybe pull some stuff out by the look of it but probably not so i'm gonna get these out and then we'll look at the figure and then the tesseract so i just want to show that this did come out it's like just a little like box compartment thing that just slid right out of the box and so you had of course the tesseract and the red skull and all you do like was cut the um all the like little safety or whatever the plastic things are that hold this um stuff in there you all you do is cut those and he came right out and then just there was tape holding this and so you just had to cut that out and do it but i just 
like how that was a nice little like compartment thing that just slid out of the main box there. So let's go ahead and look at the figures now. So here we have the Red Skull, and I think this looks really cool. So I'll start up close here. So there is a look at his face. Of course, I always forget to bring down the older versions um, so you could see like the way their face has changed and everything. But again, I forgot it. I don't like this face as much. I think it looks way too dark. They put too much of the like black accent on it, so I don't like the way it looks very much. I just like, you know, would like just a darker red and not all this black added into it in general. But there's like the face you can see, is, you know, got the skull design face with the nose and the eyes inset and everything. And then going down into a suit, so you can see he's got the all black leather suit on here. Of course, that's, a, you know, pretty much what he wears. Again, there's been various different versions, so like the um, one for the anniversary set looks different than this and it's got you know more of like a shorter coat jacket type thing on where this you know has a long trench coat and everything and then even the um one from the avengers movie or from captain america i think it was even though i feel it came out later um did have a even different design in a trench coat that was open and everything but this looks more like it did from the movie so you can see he's gotten over like a trench coat over um, his out like uniform stuff you can see like the neck of the uni or the color of the uniform there underneath with some of the red accent on it but here we've got his jacket so we'll start here so it's just all leather you know it's all, all sorts of like leather straps going across and everything just on there then go down we've got his belt there and so it has like a you know belt on over the top of his jacket although it looks different design because you know it's a belt and then it becomes like a skirt almost but we've got the belt there of course with the hydra logo right there in the center then of course we have the draping part again that i feel was supposed to be part of the jacket but with this leather going on underneath it looks like you know a separate piece attached to the belt so it makes it look this look more like a skirt which maybe it is supposed to be you know just supposed to be like a long like a uh, Thing, you know like a skirt but obviously not a skirt um so there i like the red accent going on there then of course some of the silver buttons and everything so that's just you know a long trench coat or like whatever there on that then we've got his arms here of course he's just all dark so it's hard to like really see anything and it, to me it doesn't even look that good in the camera but he's just all dark and you know it's got more of the same like leather material same design you know it's i assume these are supposed to be the sleeves of like the coat or something going on there I was wondering to see if you could possibly even take this belt thing off since obviously he does have like pants on underneath so I didn't know if you could take it off. Um, then on this arm we have the Hydra logo there, the red Hydra logo, the octopus and stuff there. And then underneath you can see as I mentioned he has the um, leggings or legs there, um, same matching materials like the arms and stuff going on there all sorts of design stuff then the shiny black leather boots and everything that they like to wear in Nazi Germany and stuff nothing on the back there really of interesting no designs I thought there'd be cool to have like you know the Hydra logo there on the back or something but nothing things of course I forgot to mention it has the black leather gloves there as well to match with the boots and everything. Then of course he had the Tesseract as I mentioned. So we've got the Tesseract here that you can put into his hand which is very similar to the one from the Captain America movie. You know the Red Skull had his hand all weird and you could it came with a Tesseract so you could put it in there. But I like this Tesseract more because it's you know like a see-through um, darker blue where the other one I believe was more of a lighter blue color and I like the darker blue looking one there. So you can obviously um, hopefully if I didn't mess his legs up too much moving him around which it looks like I did I can't get him to stand there so you can get him to stand holding the Tesseract and stuff there and of course he I can't get him to stand there we go so I'll sit him off to the side here and we will now look at the Tesseract which I started to open this and everything but I wanted to show up so it comes so once you take it out of like the packaging and stuff there I was like wow this is a weird looking you know it's all white and everything but then I know that and I'm like Okay, so they have like a thing over it, so that's weird, and then I realized that this itself was just a plastic like storage cube, so it's got this little lid here on the top that you just kind of pull in the plastics, you know, bendy and stuff, so it like bends to uh, release it. So then we've got the cube here, I was going to open it because I know you need to put batteries in it, which I got the batteries, so, um, but I wanted to show you how they package it and stuff, and what, um, how I thought it was cool. But let's go ahead and take all the tissue paper off. And so here we have the Tesseract itself. And I love this design that they did on it. You know, because I assume when you light it up, it's going to look really cool and stuff with this design. Give you all sorts of texture and everything. I don't know. So it feels like maybe here's where you put the batteries in. Maybe because it feels like something's kind of pulling out on it. I don't know exactly how I... Because there's no... Uh, but, oh, there it goes. 
oh there we go so there's a look inside of the Tesseract here so you can see all the designs they did you know like a rocky material and stuff to give it the design and then we of course have the ball on the inside that we put batteries in so let's go ahead and put the batteries in I'll need to get a screw screwdriver and everything and we'll put the batteries in so it looks like you open the cube turn it on and then you know put it back together and you have the cube and then you just undo it so I was hoping that the, you know the cube itself would just have a little battery compartment that you undo and or like a little switch or something but you know have to take it apart which you don't need screws or anything so it's just you know you just pull it apart and everything so it's not that hard at all it just won't stay together but I assume that's why you have this so you can do it and then put it in here and you know it'll keep it held together and everything so let me go ahead and get a screwdriver and I got the batteries already but I didn't think about a screwdriver but I'll put them in and then we'll put it in and light up and see what it looks like so I'll be right back okay so I got the batteries in so just to show you what it does here we'll go ahead and push it and so it's I like it how it slowly like comes to light and so you can see the lights going on in there maybe having some effect on the camera and stuff but the lights going on there and then you hit it and they kind of slowly turn off like that so let's go ahead and I guess we'll have to turn it on though just to keep it lit up and everything so there you can see the Tesseract there and everything going on with all the shiny cube and everything there i would like to turn the lights off but it'd be kind of hard and i don't know what it would do to the camera and everything but you can still see that it's glowing and everything so that looks really cool and then of course you'll just take it apart and then we could put it in the case but i don't want to right now because i'll have to turn it back off so you can just see the same but it's got you know this plastic case you can stick it in you know if you want to have it like lit up forever and again i like the design the rockiness that makes it you know look like it's moving and all sorts of like different stuff going on inside there so that is really cool so i think that's going to be it for this red skull and tesseract pack of the marvel legends uh 10 year anniversary whatever you call it, marvel studios 10 year anniversary packs i don't know if they have exact names or anything but i hope you enjoyed this video you did if you did let me know in the comments down below let me know how cool this set is especially this tesseract and how it lights up and everything and that is just super cool um but be sure to do that and don't forget to subscribe to see more of our marvel legend videos and we'll see you next time.